It's story time! It's morning time! cock a doodle doo Rise and shine, or you'll miss today's tale! Last time I heard Bear tell a story, it was wonderful. It was one of those magical stories. It was a scary story. I'm coming! Oh, 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 oh dear, we're oh, going to be late. Oh, 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 so, um, uh, yeah, this is awful. Hi, how, how, how did you get down? Out of my way! Ow! Where is there? I don't see him anywhere. He's coming down! He's coming down! It's about time! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm a little late. <laughs> so, is anybody in the mood for a story? That's right. That's a good one. one. Make it a good story. Make it hope it's really long, too. Yeah. Oh, I see everybody's here. I know you guys are waiting for a story, and I think I've got just the one. Now listen closely, and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. Coco! Coco! A letter came for you! Read it to me. Okay. Dear Coco, I'm going to be passing through Sun Station today on my business trip. If you come by the Garden of the Sun at 12 o'clock sharp, I will have your new boxing gloves for you. What? Love, Uncle. My new boxing gloves are here? Yes. Uh -oh. This is great. My Uncle <laughs> Fatty is the best. <laughs> 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 it's not very nice to call your Uncle a Fatty. But that's his name because he is fat. <laughs> I can't wait to fight again because I know I'll win. I lost the last one because of these stupid old gloves. You lost the match because you were rude to the referee, not because of your gloves. Oh, how would you like me to show you a little oh. rude right oh. now? Oh. I, huh? It's getting late. I better get my things. What's the big rush? Uh, I have an appointment at the station with my new boxing gloves. <laughs> I don't want to be late. Let's go. Okay. Wait! Oh, what do I do now? If I'm late, I'll miss my uncle's connection and my boxing gloves. This really stinks. Coco, isn't that the train whistle? What? Come on, let's run! Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll miss Stop. the train! You can't run in traffic! Oh no! The train is pulling out! Did I miss him? Oh my, hello there, young lad. Do you know where the Garden of the Sun is? It's over there, Four Eyes. Uh, what did you call me? I answered your question, okay, Granny? Uh-oh. Oh. My word, what a rude little piglet. Uh, uh, oh, where did Coco go? Excuse me, Grandmother. I'm sorry, do you know where the Garden of the Sun is? Yes, uh, just take the bus at the train station one stop north and you'll be there. It's very easy and you can't miss it. Thank you. You're welcome, Grandmother. You have a good day. <laughs> what a cute little bunny. Oh, I can't believe I missed the train. Ugh. Coco, did you find your uncle? No, I didn't. My big fat Uncle Fatty left without even waiting for me. I know. Maybe he left a package for you at baggage claim. I didn't think of that. Come on, then. Let's go check. Sure. Huh. She's not totally stupid. <laughs> I can't wait to try them on. 
Yeah, <laughs> come on, who wants to take a swing at this piggy first? Oh, the schedule of events. Let's see, I'll just flip this. <laughs> huh? Excuse me, young man, but I was reading this. And I'm looking for the fight schedule. Oh, oh, oh. That really hurt. Huh? Who taught you manners, you inconsiderate swine? Huh? Uh, uh, look, you shouldn't have stuck your head in there in the first place. What? Oh! You're saying this is my fault? Uh, How dare you? What's your name, young man? Huh? I have a good mind to tell your parents. Uh, you gotta relax, mister. What a menace this boy is. Inconsiderate and rude. Huh. Oh well, better get going. I hope he's not following me. That nice little rabbit said the stop was over here. Oh! Oh! Why don't you look where you're going, you old blind four eyes? What? Aren't you that rude boy from the train station? No, oh, leave me alone, old lady! Come here, you little rude boy. I want a word with you. I said you. let go! Stop! I want to speak with you. I said stop, young man! I lost my glasses! <laughs> Oh my, now where are my glasses? Uh, Grandmother Sheep, is something wrong? Are you looking for something? I seem to have lost my glasses, dearie. Will you help me? Your glasses? Oh, uh, here they are. Thanks. Here. Thanks, let's see. <laughs> You're such a kind soul, <laughs> really. You all right? I came here to run an errand for a friend and have not done anything at all but have problems with an ill-mannered piglet. Oh, what a day. Oh, oh no, this is definitely not my bag. Oh. I think that piglet has taken my bag by mistake. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'll tell you what. How'd you like me to help you look for your bag? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> My, but it is a trying afternoon. <laughs> oh, no! It's that painter! Oh, what a disaster of a day! Nothing's working out. I haven't even found my boxing gloves. Could it get any worse? I thought I saw someone go in here. Uh, rabbit! Rabbit! Uh, have you found him yet, honey? No, not yet. I really have to find that piglet. It's quite urgent. Uh. Grandmother, why don't you take a look around? Where could he have possibly gone? <laughs> you tricky little piggy. Did you think I wasn't going to recognize you just because you changed your clothes? You can't get one over on me. Oh! oh I knew you were cold, but I didn't know you were made out of stone. <laughs> I'm not dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, Grandmother, it's a statue. <laughs> I need new glasses. <laughs> I'm still in a pickle. I don't have my package. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know what to do. There's a rude little piglet that's accidentally run off with my things. I need them back. What? Oh. My friend Coco confused his bag with the bag Grandmother Sheep was carrying. So this is hers? Of all the dumb luck. That's very unfortunate, but let's not worry too much. I promise we will find that piglet, switch the bags back, and solve everyone's problems. How does that sound? Oh, that's wonderful, dearie. <laughs> She's so sweet. I'm Come on. Come on, let's go find that piglet. <laughs> oh, Coco! Uh. Coco, you're acting crazier than usual. Shh. What do you know about my boxing gloves? He didn't leave any packages for you. And after the way you've been behaving today, you wouldn't deserve them if he did. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're acting like my mother. I didn't take it on purpose. Where could he be hiding? Don't tell him where I'm hiding or else. Coco, Coco, uh, uh, get me the bag. It's uh, not yours. Uh, uh. Oh, great, trapped like a rat. What am I going to do now? What? You're saying this is my fault? How dare you? What's your name, young man, huh? Come here, you rude little boy. Do your parents know you're like this? Uh. 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 
Oh, yes, of course. I'll hide in the fountain, and they'll think I'm one of the statues. Well, have you found him, dearie? No, not yet. He was just here. That looks just like that troublemaking pig. <laughs> I made the same mistake before. It's uncanny, isn't it? Yes. Can you believe I tried to sneak up on that statue this afternoon? I bet he has better manners. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> A statue that sneezes? Strange. Achoo! Oh, my. Oh, no. I'm going to fall. Oh, oh, I'm falling. Oh. The statue's falling into the pond. Wow. <laughs> you scoundrel! Just because you make a good statue doesn't excuse your bad behavior. Here you go, Grandmother. This is your bag, safe and sound. Thank you so much, sweetie. Everything is right again. I was supposed to meet Kol Kol in the Garden of the Sun to give him the present inside this bag. Really? Grandmother, this guy here is Kol Kol. You don't say! <laughs> all this fuss and it turns out it was his bag after all! How ridiculous! <laughs> Here, this letter is also for you. My dear Kalko, I didn't see you at the station, so I've asked Grandmother Sheep to do me the favor of delivering the boxing gloves to you. She's a good friend and has gone out of her way to do me this favor. Please thank her kindly for me. With affection, your uncle. I'm sorry, I've been absolutely awful, but I promise I won't do it again. Carl, Carl, how do you think your uncle would feel if he knew how impolite you've been to everyone, especially when he's given you such a lovely, thoughtful gift? Carl, Carl, there is no excuse for being rude to your elders. You should be respectful and considerate of those around you. Your uncle obviously thinks highly of you, and you should want to make him proud. I promise to be good. I want to make him proud. That's the right spirit, Kol Kol. <laughs> now take these gloves and train very hard, and then maybe someday you can become champion of the ring. Thank you, Grandmother. You can count on me. I hope you learned your lesson, dear. I did. Thank you, Uncle. These gloves are beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I see everybody's here. Well, I know you guys are waiting for a story, and I think I've got just the one. Now listen closely, and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. I'll hear Kim's bell if they sneak up on me. I should try and pick some. The fruit trees belong the, the to everybody. The fruit trees belong, belong to everybody, everybody and, and it's, it's our, our responsibility to take care of them. If we, if we take, take care, care of the trees, trees they'll give us lots of fruit. Of fruit. It's, it's important, important to make sure that the fruit stays on the tree until it's right. Don't climb trees or break branches. No eating apricots. If you're patient and wait for harvest time, there'll be plenty of fruit for everyone to share. I'm up in the apricot tree. Oh. Poby, do you want some apricots? Huh? What's Petey doing? <laughs> Almost! <laughs> Finally, I got it down! Oh, those apricots look tasty. They really make my mouth water. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Petey! That would be come Great. down from oh. there! Hey, do you like my plane, Poby? Didn't you hear Kim's bell? Get down from there now, Sorry. this instant! We'll get in I'm trouble! <gasps> get out of here, quick! <laughs> and I'll oh. take these. Now scoot! I don't want to see you up in a tree again! Yeah, I did my best. That's right. Don't any of you pick those apricots like my brother Petey did. 
We understand. Yeah. You're a good brother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. What fun. <laughs> oh, they smell so good. Oh. Oh. Hey, nobody's here yet. I can just sneak up that tree and grab a few. I wonder where my brother is. One, two, three! Huh? What? <laughs> this is so great! <laughs> He's picking up the apricots. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> oh, this one's perfect! It's going to be so tasty! <sighs> hey! What are you doing up there? I thought you said not to pick them! Petey? I'm not eating apricots! I have no idea what you're talking about! I saw you do I it! I saw you do it! <laughs> Your voice oh, down. Can I can climb I up climb and up get, and get, one, get one, too? one too? They look, they look so yummy. yummy. No. Uh. 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 I'll give you one of mine. Oh, but Hobie, I want to pick my own. And what if you fall out of the tree and hurt yourself? No, oh, would you quit whining? They'll hear you. And I'm going to tell the others what you did. Oh, fine. Come on. Just don't tell anybody. Really careful. Promise you won't hurt yourself. I promise. Come on, everybody. Let's Come hurry. Kim, <laughs> where are you going? We're going to paint the trees. We'll have fun. Here you go. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Hobie, why did you break the branch? Nobody saw me. It's okay. You it's okay? <laughs> What should we do? Huh? Petey! What? Just hang out up here for a little bit. No, I want to go down too. Just stay here. I told you to stay home. And if they find you climbing the trees again, you'll be in trouble. <sighs> Just in time. Uh, Kim, I'm over here. I was really excited to get started, so I came a little early. No, no thanks. I've got it under control. Go help the others. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, that was close. Uh, they're gone. <laughs> You're the best brother in the whole world. Now quit making trouble. Uh, you're lucky they didn't find you before. Now get out of here. Huh. You're no fun to be around. What? I don't see anybody. I can do this on my own, just like Toby did. Let me line up and get the shot right. Uh. Oh, I'm out of water. Don't worry, Heidi. I'll be happy to go get you some more. <laughs> huh? What are you doing up there? You have to get down. Oh, no. It's Squirrel. <gasps> Petey! Petey! 
baby! Beanie, where are you? I see him! I see him! My fault. I pretended to be good, but I've behaved very badly. I taught Petey to pick the apricots. He learned by watching me do it. I was a bad example. You're right. Petey, here's your shoe back. And from now on, you can count on me to be the best brother there is. <laughs> 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 so what do you say, kids? Did you like today's story? <laughs> if you come back tomorrow, I'll have another new tale to tell you. And I know you're just going to love it. Yeah, so yeah, 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 Yeah! 